This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. So, Perez, you played well, but your teammates struggled tonight. Can you speak on that a bit? Well, uh, what do you mean? Uh, well, Justice, for instance, had a really tough game. Do you feel like you can count on him night in and night out? Look, it was a rough game, and he knows it, and he definitely knows what he needs to work on. But nobody in this league works harder than that guy. And I'm telling you, you guys don't see what happens off the court, but the, the amount of time that he puts in makes us all better. Perez, just got word that Justice is on the trade block. Yep, I heard, man. So what do you make of it? Could really go either way. All right, off the record? Sure. Look, I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy about this. If I need to talk to somebody behind the scenes or up in, in the office or whatever I need to do, I might have to do that. Okay, look, look. You guys have fan support. That's the best thing you can have right now. Because if he's really invaluable to you as a teammate, it's less likely they'll trade him. Yeah, but is there still a chance he'll get traded? Yeah. See, it sucks, man. How, how do they expect us to play the game with something like this hanging over our heads? Look, man, I work in an industry that's been taken over by Twitter. Twitter. Every day I'm worried that my job and jobs like it are going to be gone overnight. All right, what are you telling me? I'm telling you to put on your high tops, tape up your ankles, and ball out every night. But the greats play better with a little adversity. All right. We'll expect some fireworks tonight. Oh, I am. Let me just put this out there right now. If they actually do trade justice, I'm out of here. Let me know what team you think I should go to if they trade Justice. I'm thinking about the Knicks, Pacers, or Spurs. But let me know what team you think I should go to if they actually do trade Justice. With that being said, if you're wondering on how to change your jerseys, make sure you get the team owner event, the little private jet ride, and he will reward you with the game day jersey selection after you're done. So with that being said, let me change my jerseys and let's hop into this classic game against the Thunder. The Oklahoma City Thunder on the road as they take on their Western Conference rival in today's game. 2K Sports is proud to present NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brett Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. King Team, what is going on? It's your man King Shine, a.k.a. the Sauce God. Back at it again, back in action with the Brody. Shine Prime Time Harrison, we're going up against the Brody. Russell Westbrook, the best point guard in the league. You feel me? The best point guard in the league. But, Russell, why you giving me the space like I can't shoot? What? Like water. Cash, wet water, splash. That green Ralisa. Oh, the behind the back mover. Get to the paint. Easy two points, easy layup. Come on now, big fella. Oh, damn. He gave me space. And right after that, I give him space, and we both make each other pay with a three-point shot. But you know what? That behind the back move, I can't tell the pain. Come on, big follow, play some defense, Russell Westbrook. You the best point guard in the league. When I uh, the, again the behind the back move and twine. Like I was saying, Russell Westbrook is the best point guard in the league. So playing against competition like this, I got to bring my A game times 10. And look at Russell Westbrook responding with a three-point shot, showing everybody he can shoot. You leave him open, he will knock it down. But these two, Victor Oladipo and Russell Westbrook, oh my goodness. When they both get going, they are gods. Repeat what I just said. When they both get on fire and they both get their rhythm, they are gods in this game. Just wait until you see how many points they both scored this game alone. Look at Victor Oladipo. Oh, my damn. We was both. Both of us was letting each other have it from downtown. Us in the Thunder was letting each other have it. Wilson Chandler stepped back with the saves. That unnecessary step back, but he still made it. Look at Victor Oladipo with the leaning jump shot. Looking like Kobe. Kobe, this music ain't stopping. This music is not stopping. Five seconds left. Stay back with the thirst. What? That green Ralisa. That green Mita. Shita. Come on now. We both was not playing around. The Victor Oladipo in the paint and to one. Oh, my damn. Victor Oladipo was, bruh, bruh, oh, damn, can I get up, get up, no, 
can I please? Oh, damn. Oh, my damn. Bro, no. Oh, can I? The only true big man that is athletic on this team, and we lose Kenneth. I'm mad as hell with the windmills. Oh, I can't even talk, McFowler. We lost Kenneth, and he's gonna be out for like a month. Victor Aladipo still not letting up from downtown. I told you, when Victor and Russell get going, they are gods in this game, but I ain't playing around. Look at the moves. Kobe, brick, trash. I missed the shot, but we got the ball back. Speed it up a little bit. They leaving my man wide open like he can't shoot. Wet like water. Cash wet water splash. We both got this sauce from downtown. We both can shoot. We both can let it rain. And speaking of let it rain, this music ain't stopped for a reason. Victor Ola Depot. Wet like what I told you. We both was. And then coach sends me to the bench. Come on, coach. Going into the second half, down by three. I see you guys then. Well, and just like that, we back in the second half. Am I the only person who does that? If my player is not being interviewed at the at the half, I skip it. Do anybody else do that, or do y'all just watch the whole thing? But we're not going to skip over the fact that Victor Oladipo just ripped me completely. I just stopped. I wasn't even going to try to chase him down. But look at Anthony Morrow. Oh, my damn. Anthony Morrow in the corner. Bruh, guard him. Luckily, he missed, but in his cancer, of course, is there to clean up the glass and put it back in for two. We got to – oh, wait a minute. Speaking of playing defense, where is y'all defense? I'm responding right bike with a three of my own. We almost down by 10. We're down by eight points. Justice, let it rain. We ain't losing this game. Y'all not about to come in my house and be us. No, I'm not having it. Who is that? Gallinari, shoot. What are you doing? Thank you. I don't know why, but Gallinari always hesitates to take the shot. Just shoot. Victor Oladipo. Missing actually. I thought he was gonna let it rain, but we're only down by one now. Look at the pass inside to Wilson Chandler. I got the vision. Things was getting hectic in the fourth quarter. Why is Victor what the bro what? Guard Heems. Guard Heems. Heems need to be guarded. Why y'all giving him the space? And why y'all leaving the lane wide open? I'm going in there with the two-hand jam, getting the key of slam cam. Come on, now that windmill was vicious. But Russell Westbrook, I'm applying that pressure, and then he gets by me, pulls up, and oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, I told you, these two are gods. Russell and Victor are gods when they get on fire. And speaking of Victor, he's going to kick it over to Russell Westbrook. Bruh, I can't guard both. I cannot guard both. It's impossible. 103 to 96. Nice screen. I'm going to let it rain. What? I'm not giving up. I'm going to fight until we win or lose. Until this game is over, I'm going to continue to fight. Green Ralisa. That green Mita Shita. Don't leave me open. We got the lead by one. I seen that. Give me that steal. Give me the ball. I'm up the court by myself. Woo! I told you. When I go up against competition like a Russell Westbrook, though, but the best point guard in the league, I bring my A game times 10. Gary Harris and to one. 113 to 108 after that this game was pretty much over they kept fouling and all of that stuff 121 to 110 is the final score shout outs to the brody russell westbrook and victor aladipo for giving your boy competition 30 points and 17 dimes and four steals on hall of fame make sure you stop and smashing that like button and i'm out what's up steve what's going on press guys back in the studio want to talk to you perfect this is Shaq, and once again, you picked up the double-double. How do you get the team clicking offensively? Uh, well, you know, man, I feel like I have a pretty good eye for the offense and knowing when to get the ball in the best possible place for us to succeed. Um, when I'm getting my share of buckets and my teammates are making plays, we're pretty hard to stop, man. So that's what I tried to do.
Spoken like a true champion. Good luck.